Random, random. Roll the dice. We got a Woken Hellhorn. Okay. She's gonna devour my spells. Thank the Lord I didn't get Seraph to Diligent on the last run. That would have sucked. Okay. So we got Razor Sharp Edge. We got Molting Imp. I got Focus Growth. Draw two next turn. Interesting. Yeah, I appreciate it, Citos. Oh, Citox. Sorry, I missed. My, my, my vision's getting bad. Okay, so what's a demon unit? Because I see multi strike, I think that looks good. I'm clicking it. Whatever is a demon, I'm picking it up. Alright, before we do this run, guys, I have to walk my dog, so I'll be right back. My apologies, we'll be back in a jiffy. So what do we got? We got Awoken Hellhorns, and we have Demons Get multi strike. So I guess the theme of this deck, guys, is to look for some demons. Alright, let's see what we can do. I haven't tried this yet, so we just did Bristling. We just did Bristling. Stand this fire. Thank you, man. I'm glad you liked the YouTube videos. Welcome to the stream. Let's do revenge. It's called cultivating. Now, what this is going to mean is that I take damage, I draw one. So what we're going to try to do is put our multi-track units behind this. It's going to be tankies. We're going to draw cards. I'm looking for a lot of cheap things. With a lot of card draw, I'm looking for energy or cheap things. So we'll figure it out. Anyways, we're just trying something new. Card draw is always nice. I mean, there's a world where I can get an infinite with card draw, right? Is there a way we can think about how we get infinite here? I can't think of it just yet. I don't know. So non-boss enemies get plus four strength. That's a lot of strength for non-boss enemies to get. Just for a unit? How strong is our deck right now? We have Molten Imps, this is fine. Molten Imps are going to carry this fight. Molten Imps are going to carry this fight, but what we do want is the ability to bring these Imps back. I keep thinking that we're like... A melting Remnant or something, but we're not. Let's give this thing some damage. Card draw. Alright, Molten Imps would be really good here. You guys ready? Might as well put it in the back, yeah? Focus Grove is very good. The card that discards your hand and draws five with a stone that removes consuming anvil, duplicated? Yes. That is true. This guy's gonna die to the pirate. I'm gonna take six damage, unfortunate. We're gonna take six damage. And our, our powers are already damaged because of Covenant. She does 5, right? So if I... Put a Train Steward in the back... I should have Lethal. Gorgeous. Boom. Boom. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so since we have a lot of card draw, things that are zero cost are a little bit better. We also have a very tanky unit. They, they buffed this, by the way. This is to be four times now. It's five times. So since we're going to have a tanky unit, if we heal it, which it has the helpful to heal, it does 50 damage max to the front. And that could be useful. Glimmer is a nice AoE spell. This is a zero cost spell that could utilize... With the card draw. Deals three damage, move that unit to the front. I think I'll get a heal. Return a random consume spell to your hand. Now Impish Scholar doesn't do that much right now. But I can imagine later on it might. I don't know if I want to like bite down on that. I can get another Molten Imp for AoE. Not the greatest card. 
To be honest, this is sort of like a, a skip for me. I just had a run with the spiky boy up front and with almost infinite reaching cards. Almost one, but the angel that removes buffs screwed me. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those angels. Alright, we're gonna skip here. Sweep. When it kills something, it gets plus two damage. This is a demon. Wait, these are both demons. Holy shit. Okay, so we gotta talk about this real quick. Steel worker, you put it in the top lane. It gets a lot of armor. And it has 10 times 2. Only 15 life. This has 30 damage, but only 4 life. This guy's more prone to spikes, but he does a lot more damage. You guys want to try out the Horned Warrior and try to figure out a way to keep him alive? Let's do it. That's a lot of damage early. That's a lot of damage early. That's, I'm floor 1 and I got a 60 damage unit. I can upgrade my units to give him some health. And let's get a Hellhorn unit because they're going to be demons and demons have multi strikes. So we want to see Hellhorn unit. Let's see what we get. The same option. Alright, so another 60 damage unit or the guy that gets armor in the top lane. Let's do another horns. Let's see what upgrades we get. Give it health. Absolutely, and we can give a unit endless. You know what that's good with? The Molten Imp. So now we have AoE damage at our disposal. And we'll give a unit for spikes. Actually, we don't have a good unit for spikes. So we leave. The deck's already coming out quite nice. We've got an endless imp that does AoE and some big boy demons. I've done a lot. I gave it a lot of love to Steel Worker. You can see that he's golden. I've used him every single time. This is my first time ever using the Horned Warrior, so I want to take advantage of it. Take this look, though. Take this out. Look, you ready? Boom. Goodbye. I can put this in his own lane because he has so much life. So I can put the weak one over here, right? And since this guy's got a lot of life, put him over here. Nice. I can restore health on him and draw to next turn. Seems good. Damn. Big hits. Big hits. Restoration detonation is not bad. Let's give this guy a lot of damage. Restore some health here. Put a train sword on the top. Good stuff. Oh, he has spikes. Oh. Problematic. Problematic for my deck. GG. Yeah, GG. Boom. Boom, boom. So as we expected, the guy who has low life is weak to such spikes. So this is good because it gives them attack, which we have multi-strike, and it gives them health so he doesn't die to spikes. Versus giving somebody spikes in that. I'm gonna go ahead and give some health and some damage for my multi attackers. This is AoE damage. We already have imp for that. And this gives armor, which is good. It's a zero cost card. We get a lot of card draw. Give me an armor card that's zero. It'll help keep my units alive. We have enough card draw for it. Let's get some zero cost cards. I could duplicate that card. Would I just duplicate my demon? I mean, is this going to have just big old demons and that's it? 
Is that what this deck is? Is that what this deck is? I can I can duplicate multi nymph so I have double double AOE endless imp. It's not bad. I could also upgrade some more units. Maybe I could upgrade instead of duplicating I can upgrade, but I can get an awoken unit. I'm not sure if I want to duplicate this imp. We can get quick or another multi though. Let's see what we get here. Another unit gets multi strike. Who wants that? Wait. Whoa. Let's remove one of these stewards. Wow. My demons are pretty strong right now. I haven't seen this one before. A collection of glowing brains are scattered next to a granite crypt. Each brand bears the mark of one of the clans of hell. Those are the melting remnant, Stygian Guard, and Umbra seem to be the only ones hot enough to be of use. The brain in the crypt may yield additional support from that clan, either through monster or magic. We can get a rare melting remnant draft pick, rare Stygian Guard, or a rare Umbra. Now, Umbra can give us like morsels and the ability to scale, and Melty Remnant can give us the ability to bring units back to life, right? So I'm kind of leaning towards Melty Remnant to bring units back to life. But what if we... Rare is not Morsel Maker, because that's, that's uncommon. So for Rare, I'm going to do Melty Remnant. When this dies, it gets plus 10 damage permanently. Enhance friendly units with plus X strength, but it gets burnout. Now, I don't have a way to counteract the burnout. So Wax and Spike, as good as it is, I don't have a way to counteract the burnout here. Deal damage to the front enemy equals the number of friendly units death. So this is not good for my deck. It's bounty here. Not the greatest card. Yeah. Bounty's okay. Not the worst. I want to try it out. See how see how this goes. Yeah, no, the bounty's not that good. I probably should have just skipped. I probably should have just skipped. <laughs> It's only 10 permanently from my deck because I don't have Resolve or Burnout. But normally, you could bring this guy back multiple times in a fight with the Melty Remnant. And this deck is not as good. So that's unfortunate. So it's really bad in a deck like this now that I think about it. But we got this guy with a lot of multi strike. What a beefcake. This guy can handle himself. Yeah, for all fights, so he gets stronger and stronger. But I'm saying he will only do it once per fight because I can't resummon him. I could do that. Um. There's a couple things we could do. We could do this. Then we can enhance this guy. We could heal this guy. And then I'm gonna apply Razor Sharp Edge. I also wanna do Molten Imp. Steel Enhancer. Razor Sharp Edge. Look at that damage. I'm almost killing the boss. Oh my. Fortify. Restore. Razor Sharp Edge. Torch the boss. I mean, our demons are doing work right now. 
I'm making something out of nothing. It's GG, we win. Focus growth. Oh my, look at the demon. Oh my, what a hitter. What a hitter. Apparently, double multi strike is very strong. Double the armor on a unit. Apply 25 armor and get it out of your deck. Or draw a unit and enhance it with plus 20. In the event that I draw into my demon with this. In the event that I draw into a demon with this. Because all my demons have multi strike. Especially as we start moving train stewards. I mean channel song has to be really good right? Oh and now we have demon fiend. Another demon that if we draw. Oh. It can become zero cost. Absolutely. Do we want card draw? We have card draw. We want energy. Okay. Alright, so we get our artifacts and some money or we can upgrade our spells. What spells do we want to upgrade? I want to remove, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to see, let's get, see what units we can get. Another demon, another demon. 25 armor, multi-strike. Push the attack into the back, okay. Rage 4, apply rage 3 to friendly units when it kills something. To be honest, I think I'm happy with my demons. How, how much do we want rage in our units? If we had, like, the thing that rage never decreases, that's pretty good. But I don't have that. So I don't know how good this actually is. Let's remove some of these stewards. Stewards are really actively bad now. And let's upgrade some of our spells. The best we can. So we can give a spell holdover. So we can give... Keep doing Razor Sharp Edge. Right? Or we can keep doing like Steel Enhancer. Which is very good for my multi-strike. What do you think is better? Major Sharp Edge scales pretty well. Alright. Let's make... Restore focus growth cost less. And let's upgrade. Now we keep drawing. And that's a big tank, guys. 100 life. That's what we like to see. It sucks it doesn't draw more, but I guess that makes sense. Enemies have armor? No big deal for me. No big deal for me. I'm gonna try to get Channel Slang early. So we got the Demon Fiend. Alright. Nice. Look at these dudes. Look at these dudes. Double multi-strike warriors. I don't have a tank for them though. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start scaling my demon fiends. I want this guy to die somehow. I need him to die somehow. Uh, this bounty circle was a bad move. Damn, that the sound of that demon makes when it strikes is intimidating. Channel song. All right, our molten nip is nuts. Love it, love it, amazing. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Just keep scaling this guy up. Yeah, I put the fat demon as a tank and put the other guys in the back. Because the other guys in the back have my times three. This guy has times three here. Like, this is why Ranger Sharp is better than this guy because he has times three, but it's okay. We'll do Ranger Sharp Edge. This guy's gonna be big.
Oh, we already won. Nice. I couldn't put down bounty in front of here because I, 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 you didn't have no space. So the bounty just wasted scaling. The bounty is probably going to have to go. Bounty was a mistake. Restore 30 health, apply regen. Restore units to full health. Let's do that. Let's put one of those in the deck. Sacrifice a nip, gain two energy, draw one. That's not bad. Because we got two. Um, the mid floor. Well, I already had put two demons at that point. We can duplicate a card and get an artifact. Or we can upgrade some more spells. Okay. We can uh, upgrade Channel Song. We can duplicate Channel Song. Maybe duplicating Channel Song is pretty good, right? Channel Song is a pretty good card. Let's see what the artifact is. Apply days through to enemies that are moved between outside of the tension phase. Uh, that would be good if I get cards that can do that. I think we'll do Infused Mallet because Iron Drop Cage, I currently don't have cards that. A uh, Days 3 is very good, don't get me wrong. I don't have cards that can do that though. Do we get the 3 time demon? Yeah, the 3 time demon is pretty powerful. You're not wrong. I'm thinking of doing Channel Song. For consistency's sake. Alright, they're gonna have Spell Shield, no big deal. Let me get the fruit snacks. Oh, they died. Alright, is this my multi-strike 2 guy? No. I want my multi-strike 2 guy to be over here. In the back. GG. I can kill him. I can redraw into him. I can redraw into him. This is perfect time to redraw into him. Let's do important work. And now we can play Demon Fiend in the front here. We can have our big Moldy Striker in the back. Oh my god, we're set up. GG. We're done. Let me just go get some fruit snacks. Okay. I didn't play my holdover spell, but it's okay. All our units are set up. We can just steal the enhancer. Because the guy has three. He does damage three times. Bounty Stalker is never going to get used. I should just re remove this. Uh, channel Song. That imp is glorious. We love it. We love an imp like that. Get up there. Wait, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to torch my own... My own Bounty Stalker over time. So, green Cold Man with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, man. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the sub. I don't know why the sub sounds not going off though, guys. Let's keep torching our own dude. That's the best way to do it. Let's just put this on somebody. More channel song. Hey! That's what we like to see. Torch Mountain Dude. Easy. Razor Sharp Edge. Might as well restore everything to full. I had these fruit, little Welch's fruit gummies, but I actually ran out. So, I got rice pudding instead. Oh, she has stealth. Wait. I almost beat her. But she's not going to survive past, um... She's going to die at the next floor, right? Get rid of her spell shield. Let's give this guy two draw next turn. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. She should die now. GG. GG. All right, we're just we're just slaying everything. 
Add some spikes to my big tank. That sounds good. Gets out of my deck too. Ascend a unit and apply days two. Uh, that's pretty good. I can send it to the top floor and like the floor where my other big demon is and just let it sit there. Eh, I'm gonna skip. I mean, the ability to send is pretty useful, but my deck doesn't do anything that crazy. It just has like strong units. Trinkets, or we can do more removal. So we can remove the last train steward and maybe remove a torch or one of the regions. So do we want to remove and upgrade our units or we want to get trinkets? Well, trinkets are pretty good. But I do want to see the cavern as well. So we're going to go over here, remove the last train steward. I'm going to remove one of the restores. And then let's see what upgrades we can get. Give a unit quick. Say it ain't so. Demon Fiend has quick now. Wow. Give a unit health. Let's give this guy health. Give a unit rage. Give this unit rage. No, that's not very good. A rage is not that great. Let's just, just hold off on that. Let's go ahead and... See what we got here. What rustic do I want? Okay, we can get Spike of the Hellhorn to apply Rage, apply Armor. Draw X, enhance all cards drawn this way with minus two for the rest of the battle. Or get apply Frostbite. Let's do this. Awoken. Just draw a lot of cards, make everything free. Let's see, we can do reroll here. We can do reroll. I can do one reroll. Let's see what we got. Another multi strike. Oh my god. 50 times three with quick. I just got big units, that's what I got. Big ol' units. That's what I got. Let's see if this is enough to win the game. A rising Dust is a Prophet. They have Spell Shield 5. Tiggle units. Tiggle boonits. Oh, okay. Channel song, you ready? Why on him? I'm just curious. Just a little bit curious. Just a tad bit curious. Just want to know. Imp has gotten channel song every single time. Alright, that's a better imp. That's what I like to see. Put this guy in the back. Oh, he doesn't have space. Uh, torch into this. Now we're talking. And you know what? You go right over here. I want this guy to die, so we put him in the front for now. And he might as well heal. Now we're cooking with gas. We got some big old units. Alright, let's do important work. Nice. That was fun. Alright, let's draw five cards. Alright. Well, these cards are free for the rest of the game. And we're going to make our three-time demon attacker have even more strength. We're going to let that guy die. Love it, love it. Channel song. A free demon that has 70 times three with 70 damage. Sorry, 70 health. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unbelievable. That's why I put Channel Song, because Channel Song is actually a very good buff for multi strike. Like, that guy is nuts. Razor Sharp Edge. Give me some armor. Razor Sharp Edge. Give me some spikes. Oh, I gotta get the door. One sec. Okay. Uh, is this guy dying? No, he's not. This guy's slain. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, let's heal for an over.
Okay. Uh, I guess we just keep scaling. Put that in the front. I don't even have the ability to restore 25 health. Like, if they happen to get past me... If they happen to get past me... They have a big-ass demon at the top waiting for them. I've been making Yawn Burgers like four times a week for the past month. Oh, that sounds really nice. That sounds really nice. Let's sacrifice this guy. Yeah, I'm going to remove this again. I agree, I agree. We're eating double cheese and bacon. Oof, that sounds really good too. I am getting hungry, guys. You guys are making me hungry. You used to order them and now you make them better? Well, you, you learn the ways? Oh, we have lethal, boys. We got a lethal. We've got lift off. It also removes suspense, exactly. Like, since you don't have to calculate lethal, it's, it's not as suspenseful. That is true. That is true. I'll get some armor. Why not? Do I want Light of Seraph so I can play two demons in, in, in behind the, the guy? You fries have garlic? Oh, man, that's so tasty. You want more card draw at this point? I don't know. What does this deck want? What is it? The deck feels like it's done. I have to do dishes. I don't have a spoon. I have to do dishes. And then this is after stream. Duplicate another card. I just duplicate another channel song. What else should we duplicate? I don't know. Yeah. Duplicate another channel song. You have two units that give uh, one armor to everybody when I enchant their relic that doubles the enchant trigger stuff that can't hurt me now. Nice. Oh, what is this? Shards of the Pyre, remnants of the once great beacon of hell are strewn about. Strewn about. When it was extinguished, the shattered pyre must have been ejected through these hell vents across all nine rings. So we can get Bone Shine, which is restores pyre health, or we can get Bone Rattler, enhance your pyre with plus three times X. Uh, damage. Well, I don't care about any of these. <laughs> Some things are best left alone. In this deck, I don't care about those. Alright, the last upgrade, guys. Cultivating 3. 200 health. The ultimate tank. The ultimate tankery. The non-boss enemies enter with spikes. That's pretty bad because I have multi-strikers. But I'm going to do it anyways. Just add a challenge to the mix. Five spikes? Hey. It's going to hurt my dudes. That's exactly what I want. I want them to hurt me. Give me the pain. I need the pain. Channel song before Demon Fainted. What do you guys think? Of course you hit the imp. I'm tilted, triggered, and molding at the moment. I didn't play my demon for this. I gotta remove that imp. Alrighty. 
Um, well, well, oh, shit. Sacrifice? No, I don't get the gold. It's all gone wrong. If I put the demon here, it would have been over. I greeted you for the channel song and I missed out on 100 gold. Never again. Alright, I want you to die. Nice. That's a lot of damage. Um, we love it. We love to see it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Put this guy in the back over here. I should have drawn cards for Awaken Road Spike. I have this bounty guy that is just so useless in my deck. Look at that card draw, by the way. Restoration, detonation. Let's sacrifice this imp. Endless. Good energy. Focus growth. Get the spikes. Give this guy spikes himself. Hold over. Give this guy some damage. Why not? And some region. Alright, everything's set up. Alright, a Woken Rail Spike. Draw four cards. Nice. Nice. This guy does so much damage. I love it. We don't have lethal. Huh. We have lethal. Boom. We're rich. Bramble Lash. Do we need it? It's not bad, but do we need it? I'm gonna say no. Apply Rage and Armor and get out of my deck. Okay. Um, that's not bad. It's kind of a dead card as well. I'm just taking cards to, to feel like I'm doing something. All right, we go to the trinkets or we can remove all. So do we duplicate and remove or do we go for upgrade units and more gold? Okay, we can also upgrade our spells. What would we duplicate? Well, we want to remove one of the imps, and then we want to remove uh, one of the restores. And please, Channel Song, be nice to me. Give a unit double stack. 50 armor! 4 rage, 4 armor. Yes! Let's make Channel Song cost nothing. No, let's make this cost nothing. Wait, let's make this cost nothing because it's a holdover. And let's make this torch get out of my deck. Beautiful. Let's refresh. Remove consume. So there's no there's no longer removes consume. This now just applies 25 armor. I give that to cost less, so now it's just 25 armor for one. She gets rid of my spells though, right? Yeah, she devours my spells. I forgot to mention that. Uh, I can double this so I can have two armor 25s, or I could double 
The spike of the Hellhorned. Hell yeah. Alright, I forgot to see what the trinkets were. Friendly unit kills gain plus two on kill. When you summon the second unit, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll. Summon spells get an extra upgrade slot. Sure, let's go back and upgrade our spells. Never mind, I can't. Wait. Fuck. Well, let's say we didn't need it. Let's just go with that. Let's just say we didn't need it. Deck's done. Stream's going good off MS. Let's go. Now time to eat this with no spoon. Alright, just be mindful. The first spell gets consumed. Alrighty. Nah, Nimbus Hero upgrade is already fully upgraded. It's fully upgraded. You can put Demon Fiend right here and smike him up. Oh, 150 damage. Alright, get this out of the deck. And Razor Sharp. And still Enhancer. Alright, Channel Song, do your thing. I believe in you. Unbelievable. Absolute travesty. We can give this to my demon. 20 armor. And 20 rage. That's almost too much. It's only good if the rage doesn't go down. I even removed the nymph. It's nice to have demons on all floors because I can do damage to the boss. I just put the, the multi strike 2 guy on the back over here. And now what do we got? I had no units left in my deck. Okay, I'm just unlucky. I should I should have known that, but I guess Shannon's useless now anyways, right? Because all my units are out. I, I think we're set up. I think we're set up to win. I hope. Hope we can do it. Shadow Slump is very unlucky this game. Boom! That demon's gonna be big. Give this guy armor. Draw two next turn. See the wrong card. Oh, that's right. I gotta be careful with the consume. Fuck. All right. So this takes away the consume, and now I can do. I can save channel songs to, to get rid of the consume later on. I could do this in the back now, but the rage is gonna go down. I sacrifice the imp. I could. I could save channel song for later. My bad, my bad, my bad. Whoopsies. I got I got complacent. Alright, so we want to consume something that we don't care about, like the fortify. And let's do this. Do it. I hope, we, I hope we have enough damage. Alloy of the Ancients is nice. Oh, we should be doing this. You know what? That's good, right? Nope. So let's get rid of a card we don't care about, like uh, Torch. 
And then let's put on Razor Sharp Edge. Steel Enhancer. Restoration Detonation. Do some damage to the boss. Heal. And I forgot to do Alloy. So let's sacrifice the Imp. Because I want this guy to die. And I do more damage to the boss. We'll put Alloy of the Ancients on this guy. And seal the full here. I'm, I'm gonna use Channel Song to hopefully tank the next consume. So Channel Song, I don't need it, so I just get it out of my deck. I can let Imp die and then Channel Song it again, I guess. That's not bad. But this is already end of the end of the game here. So this is a good time to do Spike of the Hellhorns. Alright, about to be game over. Spikes are good for the fact that he has multi hits. It's noisy. It's GG next turn. GG! The Storm Relic is really good, man. Multi Strike is really nice. You can just play around that and this game over. Overkill times 9,000. Boom! Pretty smooth. Take some Multi Strike and take it to the grave. No problem, Wingman. That was hard carry, absolutely. Multi Strike is very powerful. Definitely one of the best. Yeah, that, that makes the Hellhorn feel pretty good. We're on a win streak. And another one. Maybe not. That was our last one for the day, boys. Friendly units on the top floor enter with Dazed. 